Hey guys, Dr. Justin Marcajani here. Today we're going to be talking about the top five signs that you are low in magnesium and what those downstream physiological imbalances, what that may cause to you symptomatically. We'll dive into that. Before we do, please smash the like button. Like to see that helps the search algorithm. Love to see your comments down below on the topic. So quick overview. What are we going to chat about today? So first thing out of the gates is we're going to be chatting about the top five signs that you are low in magnesium. First one, twitching muscles, cramping. This can be heart, mental health issues, emotional stress, fatigue, muscle weakness, osteoporosis, bone health, and high blood pressure. All right, let's go dive in, guys. All right, so first things out of the gate. Magnesium is an essential mineral, very important for relaxation, for stress handling, for blood sugar. It's over 300 plus enzymatic roles in the body, some as high as over a thousand. So magnesium is needed abundantly. Many articles talking about how more than half the country, according to the CDC and many other health, public health institutions saying that we are low in it. So it's really important. Again, your big foods for magnesium are going to be your leafy greens, your high quality grass fed meats, you know, some vegetables, some you know, organic fruits and vegetables are going to be your excellent sources along with high quality grass fed organic meat. Those are going to be your absolute best sources in magnesium. Now, muscle twitching and cramping. So your heart's really a big one, right? Heart needs magnesium to pump. Magnesium is also a natural beta blocker for your heart, so it helps relax your heart. Your muscles need it as well. So the more stressed you are, you will burn through magnesium. Again, oh, by the way, chocolate's a really good high magnesium nutrient rich food. But if you're eating lots of carbs, lots of sugar, and you're stressed, and your diet's not the best, your muscles may fasciculate, they may twitch and have just a slight bit of cramping, right? Magnesium's gonna play an important role. You know, sodium chloride and potassium will as well, but magnesium's gonna be a key one, right? We need healthy neuromuscular transmission for our muscles to contract, and magnesium plays a really important role with that. And again, if it's low, we're gonna have this involuntary muscle contraction. Mental health issues, right? Magnesium is super important for relaxation, for chilling out. Magnesium can have natural sedating effects. Uh, again, ma magnesium can play a big role in sleep as well. And so we'll do like a magnesium 3 and 8 for crossing the blood-brain barrier, a magnesium dimalate for mitochondrial function, or even a citrate or oxide for bowel motility. But again, we can see magnesium, especially 3 and 8 and malate and glycinate, play really good roles at helping to bump up that inter- cellular magnesium levels, thus helping with relaxation and mental health. Fatigue. Fatigue and muscle weakness. We already talked about the muscles and how important they are in regards to contraction, how magnesium plays that pivotal role in relaxation as well and that transmission of that action potential. So really important. Again, you know, you can see magnesium Epsom salt baths being amazing for someone that has fatigued muscles. You do an Epsom salt bath, which is magnesium sulfate, one to two cups of Epsom salts. You put them in a little bath or even a foot basin for your foot and you can get your magnesium levels up nicely and it can really help relax those weak fatigued muscles. Very important. Osteoporosis, very important too. This can play a big role because calcium and magnesium tend to have a natural relationship. And again, you need calcium and magnesium together. Now your bones are half protein, so don't ignore the protein. Collagen, amino acids, good protein. But again, magnesium plays a really important role for bone health. And again, if you have low magnesium, you're probably are going to have weaker muscles and weaker bones. And then high blood pressure, right? Blood pressure is really important um, importantly connected with magnesium because of your beta, your beta blockers on your heart. Magnesium kind of fits into those natural beta blockers that the beta blocker medication would and relaxes the heart and decreases the heart pumping and the heart rate. And so magnesium has that natural beta blocker effect. So really important out of the gate here, right? Just kind of looking at everything big picture, muscle twitching and cramping, magnesium helps with mental health issues, relaxation, at bedtime, taking some magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate can be super helpful. Even a magnesium 3 and A crosses the blood-brain barrier. So if you have more brain fog or brain inflammation, this can be very powerful out of the gate. And again, if you're feeling weak, doing an Epsom salt bath, either a full body bath or a foot bath can be super helpful. And again, bone health, magnesium plays a role along with some calcium, but you need half protein, half of that bone is protein. So make sure you get some collagen amino acids, mix it in with some of that magnesium. That'll be a great way to blunt that. And again, magnesium is a natural beta blocker. So the, med the medication beta blocker drugs, they hit those different receptors on the heart that promote relaxation and relax it. Well, magnesium naturally does that too. It's part of the reason why you feel so relaxed after an Epsom salt bath, or even if you do a float tank, which is really high in magnesium as well, you'll feel so relaxed and that's relaxing your heart muscle as well. All right. Excellent 
video here today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the topic. If you did, please let me know. Put your comments down below. Love to see what you think. And again, if you want to dive in on the functional medicine side, we'll do testing. We'll look in on these things functional medicine-wise. If you want to dive in, again, my coordinates and links will be down below in the description. You can reach out to my staff. We see patients worldwide on the functional medicine side to get to the root cause. But again, we'll look at magnesium via magnesium serum. This could be on your metabolic profile panel. We'd like to see on that two or above. And then red blood cell magnesium is better. Now you're looking inside the cell. Serum's kind of more. So imagine the water in the pool, that's the serum, right? And then your intracellular, that's you in the in the flotation tube, right? That's you in the tube, right? Serum is the water. Red blood cell magnesium's you in the actual floaty tube. And we want that five or higher. And so it's good to look at these things holistically with some data. And again, see how you feel. If you're stressed, Feel free to do an Epsom salt foot bath. Add in a good high quality magnesium dimalate. Again, my line, we use magnesium dimalate and uh, magnesium glycinate. I'll put a link down below to some of the products I specifically use and formulate. All right, guys, any questions? Love to see them down below. Have an awesome night. Take care. Bye.